fellow adventurers, Fred here, and welcome to LARP Saga, and the final video of the PortCon 2018 series is where we look at the LARP gear that I, I purchased at the convention at Barbara's A stand. And, uh, and so without further ado, let's dive into it, because we've got a lot to look at. So here's a group shot of everything I bought at the convention. A lot more varied than BCTC 2017 haul, but let's take a closer look now, shall we? Starting with the elephant in the room, we have the Ninja 2 Sword from Kalamaseel. Well, those who have played Vampire the Masquerade with me will have seen the acquisition of this blade, predictable if not inevitable due to my loving of games like Ninja Gaiden and the like. Like, while the design is simple, it makes sense due to how ninjas couldn't afford the high-end samurai swordsmiths. Moving clean across Asia into Europe, we have a pair of LARP goblets, which are in the royalty LARP box. Now, these goblets are fun to drink out of even when not in a game, and though they are not my go-to drinking vessel due to how small they are. Uh, but on the plus side, they can break down like this in, to be more portable. Next, we have the Epic Armory Adventurer Sword Holder. After spending a lot of time with the simple sword frog from Artisan D'Azur, uh, I felt it was time to upgrade to one that not only matches my kick color scheme, but can be adjusted it, as well to accommodate a different sword types, which is a very welcome feature. A leather crown that was a LARP box exclusive item in the legendary box. While made of leather, this crown reminds me a lot of the circlets found in Skyrim in terms of structure and style, which I don't have a problem with given my recent Skyrim addiction. A pair of, of elvish leather bracers. Now, when I first saw these on the shelf at the stand, my first impression was they seemed to have a Daedric influence which took Bart completely by surprise, saying that he was going for an elvish look, which now that I've worn these in a few videos, I can see what they were going for. I still think, think there is Daedric in there. Next is a Dwarven Journal. Well, this is the item I have the biggest gripe with, uh, because my experience with dwarves is that they aren't the kind to work with leather. Or the aesthetic, sure enough, makes me think of a cross between in the Norse runes and the doors you see in the Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. A stake for killing vampires, or as I think they called it on Buffy, Mr. Pointy. It is coreless to make it safe and is a good weapon to embellish a vampire game as an aesthetic prop or a hunter game as well. A Karambit from B3 Imagination Studios. Now, I got an interest in this kind of blade after seeing it used in Splinter Cell Blacklist. Its shape and design is enough to appeal to thieves and assassins of many types. I will admit it, this knife made me want to play a thief character in a LARP eventually. So as, as it is traditional on this channel for for the viewers to name my swords, it's the naming challenge returns for the Ninja 2 sword from Kalama Seal that I got at PortCon. Leave your ideas in the comments below. Oh, and the wit, the name I choose will get a shout out note in an upcoming video. Oh, you have till uh, August 15th to come up with a name for this sword. So that has been my haul of LARP gear from um, PortCon 2018. Let me know what you thought of, of these items in the comments down below. And if you want to see what else Bart Brise has to offer, or the LARP box website will also be linked down below. Oh, if you enjoyed this video, oh, be sure to hit a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to keep up to date with all my YouTube shenanigans. And uh, you'll also find links to my social media uh, pages down below, as well as to pages you can go to support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the Trail of Adventure.